Hey guys, uh, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So let's uh, begin with the Django Rest to Framework series. So for the fifth session, so we are going to introduce the Redux into this session. We are going to see how we can uh, install the Redux component and we are going to create one store.js and we are going to render all the Redux uh, uh, URLs for the actions, components uh, and we are going to create some kind of a reducers, combiners. So we'll discuss about these things. So already we have discussed like a uh, lot of things with this uh, series. So we have already worked on the how to render the products data and getting the products with a single voice now what we are going to do here is we are going to revamp all those api using redux we are going to send all the api store redux part and we are going to render data using redux over there so let's see how what is redux and uh, stuff over there so before going where did let me start my service so in the front end you can see so basically i am coming to the back end and i have activated my virtual environment i have started the back end network server over here so for the front end, so before starting a server, I want to install few of the packages over there. So for that, I'm just going to install the, the Redux. I'm just going to search for the Redux over there. So first search for the Redux. So once I open this, so you can see uh, we have a documentation now for the Redux over here. So they are saying us how we can get started over there. So why we need Redux and how we can install for the NPM packages. So here they have given the perfect documentation for us. And you can see for a basic, uh, uh, for your understanding, they have uh, given some kind of an information over here. So how Redux is going to work. So we are going to see how this uh, dispatch is going to work and all this way. So here you can see based on the specific state condition, based on a specific action, we are going to perform some of the cases here. So that is going to switch it and we are going to uh, dispatch that specific API. So whenever it is needed. And here we are going to use the concept of uh, store something like that over there. Okay. So let's see how that works. So coming back to the installation part of it. So you can see they're saying us to install using this one. And even we can install, you can see if I just click onto the Redux development extension for the Chrome. So once I click onto this link, so it is going to take me to this specific stuff. So we can see I have uh, added already <coughs> add to Chrome over here. So you can, if once you click onto this specific extension, so you'll be able to get something like a button like add to Chrome. So you can just add that specific button. So once you add that Redux dev tool, we can use this as in our uh, inspect element tool for rendering the API and for seeing what is the current state and all over there. Okay. So that is one thing. So if you're not getting this link, so you can just search for the react dev tool. So you can search for the react uh, dev tools. Because if you just for the react dev tools, you can just click onto the first link, you'll be able to see that button. So you can add it to the Chrome over here. So this is the first thing you need to do it over there. So you can refer this specific documentation for uh, more uh, exploration. So before going ahead this, so I'll just close this one. So I'll just come back to my Chrome, sorry, the command prompt for where I am going to install few of the NPM packages here. So already inside, I am inside the front end folder and e-commerce folder. So now I'm just going to install the package. So I'm just going to sell here as a NPM install redux over here so i just going to install the redux and i wanted to install the react redux as well so i want to install react redux and the redux thunk t-h-u-n-k thunk so there are three packages i'm just going to install it into my front end uh, stuffs so once i enter this so it is just going to install our react redux uh, and react uh, thunk and the uh, redux over here. okay okay it has been taken as a react react so i need to just change it to the react Redux over there, okay, or EDUX Redux. So now it is going to work probably. So those are very important packages, you need to install it. So let's wait for uh, it. So once it's installed complete, I'll resume the video. Yes, you can see it has been installed and the packages has been added over there. So if I want to check it over here, so I'll just come back to my front end folder and I'll just go back to the SRC, oh uh, sorry, in the package.json file. So you will be able to see that specific component that will be installed over here. You can see React Redux has been added and react uh, thunk where is the react thunk okay react bootstrap okay okay redux you can see and a react redux thunk you can see or you have been added over there so all the specific things we have installed so now let's begin with the part over here so for first thing foremost i need to create one specific uh, folder into the src so in the src you need to create one file that is by the name that is a store.js file over here so that is a store.js file over here we are just creating it here and inside your component folder, so inside your components uh, folder, you need to uh, install. Uh, yeah, inside your components, or basically, you can will do one thing. We'll just uh, inside our uh, specific SRC folder, we are going to 
create three folders where uh, mainly our uh, react is going to work that is react uh, redux is going to work that is the uh, one is a combinants and actions and one is the reducers these are the three important folders which we are going to create so we are going to play around these three specific folders for implementing the redux concept here okay so inside our src i'm just going to create a new folder by the name that is a combiners over here so yes i think i'll be i have created here uh, the specific thing. So first, I'm just going to create a co not combiner. It's a constants over there. Okay, not combiner. That is a constants. C O N S T A N T S constants. Okay, constants folder. And I'm just going to create another folder by the name that is actions. Okay. Then I wanted to create another folder by the name that is reducers over here. Okay, it is taking as a file. So I need to create a folder. So I'm going to create it as a reducers over here. So we have it uh, folders that is a three major folder that is a constant actions and the reducers over there. So coming back to my store.js file over here. So in the store.js, I need to do some of the specific configurations to it. So let's see what is the configuration we need to do it for the store. So inside your store, basically we need to implement a few of the uh, stuffs from it here. So from this specific Redux, I'm just going to import this uh, the specific component. I'm just going to import it here. So the first one is I need to create store. I am going to import it from the Redux and I need to import the combined reducers and I need to import the apply middleware. So these are the three specific uh, uh, functionalities I'm just going to implement uh, import it from the Redux over there. So once it is done, so I need to import the tongue also. So I'm just going to import the tongue from the React Redux over here. We are going to implement the uh, for using a tongue concept. Then along with that, I need to import one more component that is i am going to import the compose with dev tools over here so we are going to use from the react dev tools extensions we are going to get it over here so i think i have not installed this react dev tool extensions let me install this specific packages as well okay so i'm just going to install npm um, install i'm just going to install this re okay sorry oh, oh i'm going to stop it so i need to install this one so i'm just going to remove this Okay, so I'm just going to install the React DevTool extensions over here. So this is a React a Redux DevTool extensions because once we are going to add this Redux extension, we have already added the Redux. And once we have added that specific button, you will be able to see one specific thing. If I right click and inspect element tool, so you will be able to see one uh, specific thing. Like you can see, we have something called like we have it or not. Okay, if I just go to the lighthouse okay you can see there is a something called as a redux over here so if i just click on to the redux you can see this is a something you are going to see into your chrome whenever we have uh, add the extensions over there so we need to supply the data here as well so because of that we are installing this specific uh, dependencies over here so you can see it is telling me uh, npm install react dev tools extension so let me check one thing into my package.json file whether i have that uh, specific component or not okay so now let's see or let's wait for it so i think it is not finding it so let me do one thing so first tell here as a npm start over here let me start the server first okay so let's start the server so i think we no need to install uh, into our uh, package so directly it is going to come directly pass the data to this specific uh, redux step tools over there okay maybe let's see if it's give us or we'll uh, debug that one so along with that we need to work on to one uh, few of the things over here so first and foremost i need to go to the reducers file here so let me go to the reducers over here so inside your reducers so we need to create uh, some kind of a specific action so basically when i want to get the data from this specific api how we are going to get it okay so that is the things we need to import it over here so before that uh, before working with this uh, specific component so first and foremost i need to come back to my app.js file sorry in the index.js file here i need to apply the restructure concepts over here we need to just uh, render now we are basically we are passing a data using reactify now we need to send the data with the redux over there so that is the one thing we need to do it so for that i need to change some of the component from over here so first and thing first i'll just come back to the stores right so basically we need to take out this specific store so we need to import the specific store.js and we need to do what we need to get some kind of information from first and foremost from the reducers over here so what i'll do here is in the reducers i'm just going to create one specific file where i need to get all the products right so i'm just going to create the file name as a products uh, reducers product reducers dot js file over here so this will be our product reducers dot js file over here and same way i'm just going to create a new file in the actions by the name i'm just going to tell you as a products action okay product actions dot js file over here 
and in the constant i'm just going to create another by the name that is a products constants product constants constant dot js file over here so the three files i have created here that is a product reduces product constant and a product action so these are the majorly we will play we will play around from this three files itself over there so first and foremost let's start with the easier uh, easiest one so in this specific constant so we need to create some kind of in you know, a constants over here so we're going to export a few of the constants so basically whenever uh, whenever i get uh, this kind of things right i'm going to tell here as a whenever i get the mm, p or w i'm going to give the caps that is a products so i'm going to tell products least request so whenever i get this same request and so whenever i what i want or i am trying to say here is whenever i get in the form of a string whenever in the form of a string we get this as an uh, argument whenever we get this kind of an argument we are going to use this product list request over there okay same way i'm just going to do it for the success and a failure over here so i'm going to control d i'm just going to rename here basically we have a product list request right so first basically it has to take the request so second time if it is a success what you have to do if it is a failure what you have to do it so that is the three things we need to take care on this so i'm going to give it as a success here and here i'm just going to use it as a failure over here so i'm going to use it as a f a i l fail so if it is a success what you have to do if it is a fail what you have to do it over here so these are three things we are going to do it uh, for the request we are going to whenever we get a argument for the request we pass the argument as this if it is this we are going to pass this if we are if it is this we are going to pass this one over here so these are the three things we are going to use it basically over here so this is only the constant component over here now coming back to your actions so i need to just come back to my actions uh, file over here so into my actions product actions.js what i need to do next so here i am going to import the axios over here so i'm going to import the axios concept so that too i can get it that data from my home screen uh, sorry from the product screen we are using the axios here so basically we are not going to pass the data in this way right now because you can see here directly i'm passing an api so i'm going to rechange this specific data as well so i'm going to get the apis i'm going to perform the apis all into my products actions over here so from the actions i'm going to perform some kind of a api operations okay so this is the one thing we need to do and i need to import uh, i need to import a few other things i'm just going to use import so i can just say here as i need basically i want to import uh, this specific where is it so it will be little confusing where the constants and all here okay so i want to import these three stuffs so this product list product list success and the failure over here so i'm just going to type let's see it is going to take it from my visual studio code yes it is taking it so i'm just going to take this control x so i want to first take the product list request and i want to expo i want to get the product list uh, success and i want to get the product list failure over here so i'm just going to fa so it is not yeah it is giving me the suggestions i wanted to import these things product list request success and the failure so one, these are three things you need to two things you need to import it from over here so once it is done just save it so once it is done i want to export few other things over here so i want to export the list of the entire products over here so i'm going to tell i want to export list of the products when the api hits based on the specific request okay when i will get the request once the request is success i am getting the payload i am just going to pass the payload over there that is what i am going to do here so i am going to tell you uh, like this so it will be basically a asynchronous call i'm just going to use it as a async okay and in this basically it is going to what it is going to dispatch it here i'm going to use as a dispatch as an argument and whenever this uh, asynchronous call happens so basically once the based on the specific request it is going to hit it over here so first i'm just going to apply the try and accept concept so first i'm going to try so i'm just going to dispatch it here so what i'm going to dispatch here so first and foremost i wanted to pass the one uh, thing that is the type over here so we are going to pass the type so here i'm just going to first pass the product request so first i'm just going to pass the request over here okay i'm going to first dispatch the request over here so once we get a request so once if it a dispatch type is equals to request what is the type if it is a request what we need to do basically we need to hit a api if it someone is requesting some product api data json data i need to request an api and get back get the data over there right so this is what we are going doing here so if the dispatch type is a product list request if it is a request so i'm just going to get the data from the axios over here so i'm just going to 
get the data from here so where is it uh, we have product screen right so yeah i'm going to just uh, get this specific data so simply i'm just going to uh, copy this data okay so i'm just going to copy this and let's come back to the products actions and i'm just going to paste it over here okay we are going to get the data and it is a bit axios dot it is a basically get i'm going to get the data over here so we're going to remove so basically i wanted to get the products product so basically this api what it is going to do it is going to get the products over there right so that's it so once i get this one so what i need to do next so the next i need to dispatch again so again i'm just going to use the dispatch so if the dispatch again i'm just going to check the type over here so if the dispatch type is success if it is a success what you need to do so if it is a success so basically yeah if it is a success what you are going to do so whatever the data we received right so basically first request will happen we will get the data and when then we need to dispatch this success message so when it is success so basically once it is completed we need to we'll get the data right so once the data once we have received it we need to just send it to the payload over here so i'm just going to send it the data uh, payload dead whatever the data we got i'm just going to just send it to the payload over here that's it so once it is done so this is a basically we will we'll request it and we'll get the success here so basically if the type uh, product list is failure if it is a failure what you have to do so we are going to handle that thing with the catch block over here so with this catch i'm just going to pass the error message okay so if it is a error so simply i'll just do again same thing i'm just going to use the dispatch over here so the dispatch i'm just going to pass the time so basically it will be a product list to failure so product product list fail so if it is a fail what i'm going to do i'm just going to pass the payload so in this payload i'm just going to pass the error dot response over here. i'm just going to pass whatever the error dot response along with that i wanted to pass the data details also so i'm going to talk, talk as a error dot response response dot data dot detail okay so i'll just use some kind of data what is the what is the thing you need and for i'm going to check error dot respond and i'm just going to use this so basically i'm just going to pass one thing over here so let me copy whatever i have written it here no need to type so this what happening here is basically it is going to check the response data dot details so if it is some kind of a response it just basically sends the data response so if it is a data error some kind of a data error it sends that one or else it will just send us the whatever the error message is there it is just going to send it to us over there so this is what we need to do it into the product action so i hope you have understood uh, this uh, product uh, actions so basically based on that action based on an action we are going to perform it if it is a request we'll request the data if it is a success we'll send the data payload or else what we'll do or else simply we are going to do what we are just going to send the error that is what we have done over here so there's another file that is an important file that is a constant we'll complete it we'll come back to the reducers so constant is this declaration here we are adding a actions logic and here we need to see well let's see what is there into our reducers file over here so inside our reducer so production come okay inside our reducer so what is the things here here we need to switch it right so what data what this specific thing is requesting so if i have started a server you can see the server has been started so what it is requesting if i just click on if i just refresh it so based on the specific request so basically it, what is the url we are trying for what we are trying for so based on that we need to pass that payload pass, the, pass that actions so that will happen from this reducers here okay so same thing i'm going to come back uh, to you okay i'm just going to search for again i'll just search for uh, that is what uh, what was that here we have used the product list request so i want to import uh, these things into our reducers also so if i just press add it so press control and uh, space you'll get the what uh, suggestions enter it over here so now same thing i'm just going to pass three times so this is first it is basically it will be what it will be fair and uh, this will be the success so this will be the success over here so request success and the failure over here so we got three things over here we are just importing the data over here now what is the next thing we need to do over here so basically we need we are going to use the switch operations over there okay so i'm going to export based on the specific condition so i'm going to use export of the cons so basically i'm just going to use it as a product uh, list reducers over here so i'm going to tell this is a product uh, products list reducers so i'm going to tell export this specific uh, products list reducers over here so basically this we are going to register into our store okay why i am just pausing here is first i need to complete these three steps then i need to come back to our store add the data then we are going to 
pass the things from the index.js file over. We are just going to pass the our configuration to here. So that is why I am just completing this three steps. So what happens? Let's see over here. Okay. So in this specific thing, product list reduces. So basically, here we are just going to change the state. This is going to change the state over here. So basically, I want to what? I want to get all the products. Right. I need to get all the products. So that will be. I'm just going to tell you as a product. So I need to get all the products. So that will be what? That will be basically products. So that will be an empty products over here. This will be the empty products over there. Okay. So inside this, I am going to pass another argument that is an actions. So based on actions, I am just going to retrieve all the products over here. Okay. So products is an empty here right now, and an action over here. So this will be again a asynchronous call. So I'm going to write it. Okay. Here I need to give equals. So equals products over here. So here. Basically, I'm, I want to get all the products and just pass this uh, data here. That is what I wanted to do it. So this is what we need to do. I'm just going to use the concept of switch here. So first, I'm just going to check. We are going to pass the action, right? We are going to pass the action for the product section. You can see we will pass the actions here. So based on the list or request or a list success or a failure, we are just going to pass three things here, right? So for that, first, I'm just going to pass the action dot type over here. I'm going to pass the action dot. <coughs> Type. So based on a specific action type, you perform some kind of a cases. You are going to just uh, send the cases over here. So case in this case, if the action case is this one, okay. If, if is if the case is this request, if what is the request? If it is a request, basically uh, import. Con what happens? No, if we product uh, list request means it will just go to your constants, and it is just going to take in the form of a string over here. That is what happens. So it is what happens over here. So if this is the case, if the person is requesting it, what you need to do here. So if it is the case, what you need to do, you need to return. You need to return. Basically, we are going to return the product. We are just going to return the products to empty over. First, basically in the request, we are just going to keep it as a m empty over here. Okay. So this is what I am going to do, and I am just going to pass another argument that is a loading is equals to true. So we are just going to. Uh, pass loading is equal to true for adding a spinner later we will discuss that so loading is equal to true and the products is an empty right now over there so same thing i wanted to add three cases so i'm just going to control d one two so if it is the if it is a success what you have to do if it is a failure what you have to do so i'm just going to tell if it is a success and if it is a fail f a i l failure over here so if it is a success what you are going to do we need to return Loading is equals to false. We are just going to make the loading to false, and if it is a failure, again I'm just going to make it as a false over here. So for the request, I'm just going to because it is going to hit the API, right? So we need to pass the loading. And uh, here, uh, once what is the success? What happens over here? So in the action, in the products, what happens here? So because if it is a list, we are just going to hit an API. So it is an await, right? So what happens here? It is just going we, until and until we we are not getting a response, we are not going to the next line number nine. So once loading is becomes true, we are going to make loading to false. If it is success, we are going to get the data from right. We are going to get some kind of a data from the JPI. So whatever the data we are having, it just we are going to store that into the reduces. We are going to tell whatever your actions from the specific action dot payload data is there. Whatever the payload we are getting it payload load, just get it and just store it over here. Okay. So again, if it is a failure, again I am just going to tell action. dot payload so we are storing the error into the payload only so i'm just going to tell like this so whatever here basically we are going to use the error over here we are just going to use the error over here so default case i'm just going to keep on so i'm going to give default to false over here. default uh, if it is uh, nothing is happening i'm just going to maintain the state what is the state of it return the state <coughs> that's it so we have completed this specific part over there So okay, so for this let me okay. So this is the one thing we have been done over there. So we are getting a products and we are just setting the data. So I hope you have understood this specific things. It's very difficult to understand. I agree, but uh, you can see once I save all, I might face the error. Okay, no, we are not facing is because we are not implemented. Still, the store we have not configured into our React application. So first, I'll explain again what we have done over here. So we have just created a store dot js. So let's we will we have just imported few of the packages whichever we have installed. So majorly we created three folders: actions, constants, and the reducers here. So in the actions we are going to hit an API, and for the success what you have to do, for the failure what you have to do, that we have added it over here. So we are 
that is what basically if we are hitting an api we have to load it and we need to wait until unless we are getting a response so once we get a response if it is a success we're just going to store the data into the payload or else we're just going to show the error that is what we have done in the action so now this and in the constant constants i have just created three specific variables that is for a request and the success and the failure based on these three variables we are going to work into our reducers in the reducers what will tell if basically if the action whatever the action is there right if this type is a request what you need to do you need to return the loading and we need to get the product from the data or if it is a success we will just uh, get the data and we'll save it and if it is failure we are just going to show the error message over here so here we are just switching it based on the whether it is a requesting or it is an a success or a failure we are just requesting from over here that is what we have done now coming back to our store.js here so from the combiner so i'm going to tell here as a product list combiner so product list reducers right now in the reducers i'm just going to implement i'm going to inform the our reducers whatever the actions are then i'm just going to import this specific thing to our store.js here so here we are going to work over here so what is the work first and foremost what you are going to do here so here i'm just going to use const so basically i'm just going to work first basically first i'm just going to send the request to the reducer over here so const reducer is equals to so i'm going to use the combined reducers so in this and in this specific things what in your what is the first thing you need to do so i'm going to tell if the product list i wanted to get all the product lists over here i'm going to tell as a products list from this one i'm just going to pass it over here so this is the one thing we are just going to pass it over here what we are doing here see what happens here is whenever this whenever this runs it is just going to run from here so it will just go to your product list reducers function so it is going to take the states and uh, based on the action it will just going to perform this perform this operation and it gets the data and it is just going to store it into the products over here so it is what happens over here so that is the first specific api it is going to hit here okay so if there is a more api if there is a 100 api you can just add it you can just create all the reducers for it and uh, and you can just get it over here and you can just uh, make on calling those specific things over there okay so we'll understand these things more better in the coming uh, sessions because uh, an entire red app entire web application we are going to implement react redux itself we are going to use redux for calling an api hitting an apis so this is the one thing so we need to create one initial state here so we need to create one initial state to empty right so i'm just going to tell you as a initial I N I T I A L I right? yeah, initial state. I'm just going to keep it as an empty, and uh, we are going to pass some middleware here. So I'm going to pass the M I D D L E middle. We're just going to pass the middleware also. So for the middleware, I'm just going to use it as a thunk. We're just going to use a thunk for the middleware purpose. That is why we have installed. Then we are going to use the store. We're just going to make use of our store over here so we need to create our store for every people for every people who we are using our website we are just going to create one store for them we are just going to use the create store whatever we have imported here so i am just going to use the create store over here so this create store it is going to use the reducer so basically what we are going to do we are just going to configure this reducers here and we need to show what is the initial state into it okay and along with that i'm just going to use the compose with the uh, dev tools i wanted to apply the middleware and uh, this one i'm just going to use three dots here so i'm just going to pass the middleware over here so this is how it is there in the documentation we are just using the same thing over here okay so i hope uh, the things is perfect yeah we are just using this stuff over there and i'm just going to export this default store whatever we have created we're just going to export this default store I hope all the things we have current done completely correctly. So the app is loading because uh, still we have not integrated this uh, part over. There. We have not integrated this whatever we have coded. We are not passing right now. Now let's now it is a time to pass it. So what basically we did? We need to just whatever the three folders we have created to work. We are just um, initializing it as a reducers and I'm just passing all the data to our store over there. So the store details will just create one store into our dev tools and it is going to store all the things and it is going to pass it over there that is what it is going to do so for that we need to come back to our index.js file so now is the things comes so into our index.js file i need to implement the store first i'm just going to use the store i'm just going to import the store over here so once i import the specific store uh, i need to import something called as a provider from the react redux so i wanted to import this provider so i'm just going to control x imp so from the redux okay from the specific uh, react redux sorry so i'm going to use the react redux i need to import the provider okay 
so i need to import this specific provider these two things so anything else okay okay this only three things i need to import it for here so after importing it now uh, we are we need to pass some our uh, things another way in another in a different so i'm just going to remove this okay i'm just going to remove this we are not going to iterate through the get element by the root we are going to use another way over here so we are going to use it as a from the react okay from the react devo m dom dot or end or render so this was the old way i don't know this works or not let's see if it is not let's see other other way so we are going to use a provider so we are going to pass entirely with, with as a store over here so we are going to deal with the stores so i'm going to use the provider store is equals to store here okay and we are going to pass the provider here so inside a provider i'm just going to configure my application app app so i'm going to configure my application that is a app.js will be just basically we are just sending to the app.js here so it is or our there it is happening over there okay uh coming back to our uh, index.js again so this is there so once it is done so i need to pass the which is the document dot get element by id basically we need to pass another argument which is the id document dot get element by id there is basically a root line so i'm just going to pass it as a root over here so this is the way we need to pass it over here so once i come will be oh we got an error yes so you can see we got an error can't resolve redux uh, dev tool extensions we are getting a and uh, export to default imported as thing was not found into the redux thing so what happening here is these are the two things we are getting an error so if i refresh you can see we have getting so basically if i right click and inspect it so you can see in the right click itself i got something like a redux dev tool over here so you can directly click on to this so to the left or a right or a bottom open into the panel into a browser or open to the remote dev tools okay once i open this you can see i'm this is what i want you can see we have action state and all those things nothing is happening right now but we have an errors let's fix this specific errors now oh okay so you can see they are telling us uh, for the redux dev tool extension they can they are saying the package has been deprecated or the redux dev tool extensions over here so they are telling this is the things which has been happened okay so now what we'll do here is compose with dev tools right so that is what we are using where we are using this uh, we are using in the store.js yeah compose with dev tool is coming from the redux dev tool extensions right okay we are going to install this uh, specific thing let's use install this specific thing uh, i'm just going to copy this command and uh, i'm just going to stop the error sorry stop the server and i'm going to install this npm install save that is a redux dev tool extensions over here so let's see yeah, once it is safe and we have another error that is uh, okay it has been gone completely okay because it's gone right so it is actually installing let's wait for it and here we have another error that is a uh, the okay we are getting an error it's telling what is it's telling here or could not resolve redux extensions and from the root project and incorrect deprecations full report and uh, a complete log was found okay it is creating some uh, bug over here right yeah so let's see what is another uh, thing they have been used here so if i just scroll um, it has to install i don't know why it is not installing it let's see what is another way of doing it okay guys uh, so you can see what i did here is i just uh, again ran this so i have just added iphone iphone 4 over there so forcefully i'm installing it okay so my project is not taking with uh, a smooth way so because of that i did uh, i applied iphone iphone 4 so now it has been installed over there okay so once it is installed so let's uh, start the project now so we have been fixed that error so let's see if we get the same error again so now once i refreshed our uh, react application so what was the error we are getting that is about the thunk right so something we are getting cannot resolve the where was it that i if imported as thunk was not found in the redux thunk so thunk was not found it seems so where we are using that uh, specific thunk let me just check that one so let's check that uh, specific thunk over there okay guys so basically what we are going to do here is we are going to import the thunk in this uh, flower backend so let's uh, save this so once i save i hope that error will be gone so if i just come back and uh, refresh the application yeah that error is gone now so we are getting an error like a, uh, a packed import render is not a function over here so let's see how we can debug this one so now for uh, this i'll just come back to my app.js file so not in the app it is an index.js file so in the index.js file so let's uh, map this specific things over there 
So in the index.js file, I need to just render some data into the another way there. So basically it is not working. This specific code is also an old maybe. So what I'll do here is I'm just going to uh, remove this uh, stuff and uh, I'm just going to, so let me uh, use like this, okay. So what I'll do here is I'm going to remove this data here. So I'm going to remove in this way. So first and foremost, I'm just going to change the root here. So I'm going to iterate with the root const that is the root is equals to so I'm going to use the react dom dom from the react dom dot we're just going to use the create root element there so this will be basically it is going to use the document dot get element by id so inside this I'm just going to pass the root over there so we are just going to pass in this way we are going to iterate the root and we have here so from this specific root we are going to apply the render now so root dot render and uh, this one I'm just going to use the provider over here so I'm going to use the provider that is P-R-O-V-I-D-E-R provider here I'm just going to use the store here I'm going to use the provider and here I'm just going to pass the store as a prop store is equals to S-T-Y store okay and I'm just going to close like this so it has been done so inside this I'm just going to use our application so I'm just going to pass my application over there so okay yeah this is what I wanted to do it over here so now I'd like to see whether it is uh, working or not. So let me save this. So once I save and if I refresh, boom, yes, it's working. Okay. Let's see whether our uh, thing is implemented or not. So it was very interesting for me. I don't know how it was for you. Congrats guys. Congratulations. You can see here it has been hitting that state. You can say I'm able to see whatever the registered data I have seen here. Whatever, whatever the store you can see in the store the product list it has been hitting a request reduces so you can see if I just come here and if I just see the state if I, I mean I'm just going to do what I'm just going to cancel everything from here so where was this cleared something where is it okay let me refresh it over here so once I refresh page you can see it is it, it is basically it is just it has been registered in our store this product list uh, thing has been stored over here so you can see it has been stored and initially it is a, if I just go to the product uh, list uh, reducers and if I come over here you can see we have a product states if it is a requesting the products has been set it to empty so it has been empty here so there is no success and there is no failure here so that is something which has happened great right yes that has happened something great for me let's see now how can I parse the real time data of an API and uh, fetch it over there okay so for that what we are going to do so for that I'm just going to the reducer so basically where you need to just be from which data we need to get it basically so basically I wanted to render all of my specific uh, products to our screen right so that is what I wanted to do it right so for that what we are going to do here is I'm just going to come back to my uh, that is components and we are screens that is a home screen so whenever a home screen this is a API it is getting hitting right so basically wherever from here it's what is our home screens basically this is why the reason where our M all our data is coming so for that what we are going to do is we are going to use the concepts of the actions whatever the actions we have right so here I'm just going to use the actions so I'm just going to get the all the products actions so where is it uh, uh, product list reduces and we have something we have what is a list of the actions right list of the products I'm going to use the list of the products I need to get it over here and apart from that I need to import another uh, two important things that is a use dispatch and a use selector from the react redux so I'm just going to import from this specific uh, that is a react redux from these two specific imp uh, from these two things I want to import the use dispatch use disptc as dispatch comma i wanted to import the use selector so i want to import the use -E -L -E -C -T -R selector over here so these two things i'm importing from here and we're importing the list of the products over here so now let's imp uh, use this concept into our while passing it so first and foremost i'm just going to use the const dispatch const dispatch is equals to it has to use the use dispatch functionality it has to use the use dispatch functionality over here so in this i'm going to use another that is whatever the product list i'm going to get uh, and store the data right so i'm going to tell from the const i wanted to get all the products list over here so i wanted to get all the products list for this i'm just going to use selector so i'll be using a use selector so in this i wanted to to pass the date so in this date so I'm just going this will be the calling function so I'm going to pass the state dot 
products over here. So I'm going to start the state dot products list over here. So what are the products list will be created that I'm just going to pass it over here. Okay. So once I pass these three things, so what is the next thing I need to do here? So here I'm going to remove this uh, set products and all. I don't require. So I'm going to remove this and use effects I need. So basically I'm going to get the three information from here, right? So from the const, I'm going to either I'll be getting an error or either I'm going to get the important stuff that is a loading or a products. So these three things I'll be getting from the actions. So for that, I'm just going to pass the, that is a products list over here. So I'm going to pass this products list to this one. Okay. So three, three lines you need to uh, write it over in this way over there. So once it is done, now I'm just going to remove all this data from here. I'm going to remove this asynchronous function. So whenever we change the states, what happened, right? So basically I need to apply the dispatch function here. So whatever the list of products we have, I'm just going to dispatch it over there. So this will be the function call over there. So once it is done, so we'll be getting dispatched. Uh, I need to pass the dispatch first and I need to pass the list of the products over there. So once I do this one, right? So once I do, if I just come back to my home screen, if I refresh a page, you can see something happened. Okay, we got a failure function, but it is fine. You can see I was getting a false here. Loading is false and you can see request failure. Wow, you can see guys, you can see here a product list request happened and the product list failed also is happening. Basically, it is giving us the fail information, right? So whenever I open these applications, now you can see first it is requesting and we got a response as a failure over here. So if I just go to the actions, you can see request failed with status. And if I just come back to the state, it is failing it over here. So it's telling us cannot read the properties of the undefined map over here. Okay, so here it is giving of undefined map over here. So basically, we are having here as a product. So uh, okay, so it is giving as an undefined over here. So uh, how can uh, this will be fixed? Let's see now. So basically, it is asking what is this uh, product, right? That is what is happening. But uh, even though we are, uh, our API is getting failed here. Our API is also is getting failed. So what might be the reason? Let's uh, check it here. So what we did first, we are dispatching it. Then we are just getting the use selected by passing the state and for the product list. And once we get it here, we are either an error loading or a products over here. So we are getting a products, but we are not getting the products because of that. It is giving us the failure over here. So once I go to this uh, product list here, so list of the products. So list of the specific product. So this is where I'm using it. So this I'm just using here, right? Okay. So whenever I'm dispatching the list of this specific products, so here I'm unable to get it here. So let's go to this specific function. Okay. Let's go to this specific function. So here we are having an error here. So what is the error it is having? So here uh, might be the error here. It is not uh, getting, it is not passing this data uh, into over here. Let's check it and debug. Okay. So here, what is the issue? So, okay, you can see this here, guys, I have given as the API slash product. Basically, the API is products, not product, right? It is a product, right? So I'm just going to fix, this is the one of the issue I found it, so that I'm going to fix it as a products. And in the dispatch, I'm just passing the success and we're passing a data payload. Okay, we are, if it is a, these things, and we're just catching the error and dispatching the error message over there. So I think uh, rest all the things are perfect. Let's see now. now. I'm just going to come back to my home. Okay, you can see here, it is getting a success, right? It is giving the success here. Now I'm just going to refresh the page over there. Let me refresh. Okay, once I request now, you can see it is giving me the success over here, but it is not binding the data. So right, see what is the issue. So let's come back to the action. You can see I got the payload here. I got the payload data camera and you can see I got the payload data of this first data. I got it. And even I got this second data as well. I got all the information. This is working perfectly. So what I was expecting, you can see it is hitting the request and it is requesting and this success has been happening perfectly over there. So once it is happened, but uh, that binding is not happening properly. So that is the only issue right now. So let's see what is the issue for binding purpose. Why it's not uh, happening it over there. Okay. So now coming back to our, uh, you can see state is also getting changed and in the state we are having loading force and we got all the products here. So this is all the state I wanted to check it here. So our Redux, uh, React is working fine now. Now coming back to our uh, home screen. So basically we have an error in this uh, way. So in this uh, thing, what is happening over here? So basically we are passing all the things perfectly. We are passing all the products and here we are not unable to uh, show the products over here, right? So product list we are having it and we are using a news effect and we are dispatching the list of uh, products and uh, we are again we are just getting back the products over here right yes so what might be the error so here 
let's see what is our product is having so let me console dot log of the pro ducts products over here okay so let me save this and uh, if i just uh, console back here so you can see we are getting an array of three right we are getting a data but i don't know why it is not refreshing now let me uh, com uh, rename this so i'm just going to press control i'm just going to enter i'm going to press control s so once i control s save it our react application is happening so you can see that it is requesting and we are getting an empty again we are getting a uh, amount of data here basically it is getting a data so we are getting all the info information from here but we are unable to bind it to it over this so we are unable to bind its uh, specific uh, items from here so for that what i can do so if we are getting an product of undefined right so for that what we will do is product stop map we are getting a product mm, it is not bending but we are getting a data so let's see how we can fix this <coughs> okay guys so here we are getting undefined because basically what happening here is uh you can see uh, i just checked with the console it's returning an empty array here so because of the empty array it is not able to bind any kind of data from here so it is happening at uh, at some scenario over there right some happening some at last it is happening over here so we need to check one uh, specific scenario over here so what is the scenario i need to check like uh, basically we are passing something called as a loading and a load right so if i just come back here you can see uh, we are passing some kind of a, a loading here so where we are i think we were using into the reducers here so we are making loading is equals to true and we are getting the products empty if it is a true we are just making as a uh, products is an empty here right so if it is a success if it is a success what we are making we are just making products is equals to action dot payload data we are just uh, whatever that once if it is success we are just getting this kind of things and we are making the loading to false over here right so we are doing this uh, specific scenario over here <coughs> so let me check uh, that is basically in our radius itself so yeah so if it is having like this in this case we are just making to this one over here so we need to uh, apply some of the concept here basically i am going to tell if it is a if it is a false basically when the loading comes to false when the loading is going to behave it as a false at that time what i need to do here is i need to take the data from the products i need to update it over here so this is the one thing uh, one condition i need to check it over here so for that i'll just come back to my product.js file so we are um, yeah, okay very into our home screens.js file so in this file what we are going to do here is i'm just going to check a uh, few of the scenario over here so what is the scenario as i said i'm just going to apply the one condition here so after uh, basically uh, whenever it is returning uh, the dev right so we are going to display something called as a products over here so i'm going to cut this entire row i'm going to cut the entire row over here so i'm just going to check something here so basically we are having something we are just checking as a loading right so i'm just going to check that specific loading here so i'm just going to check that load loading if the loading is okay i'm just going to check if it is a loading if it is a if it is a still if it is a true if loading means if true if it is the case what we are going to do here is we are just going to use one uh, has to tag something like that i'm just going to tell here as a loading over here so i'm going to tell uh, it is still loading um, i have not get any, any response right now over there okay if it is there i it should show loading over here if it is not if it is not i'm just going to mark it as a error over here. i'm going to tell if there is a, some error if there is an error so whatever error i'm checking if there is an error simply i'm just going to show that specific error over there okay simply i'm just going to show that specific error over here into something like an h3 tag i can use it so i'm going to use it here as the h3 tag so here i'm just going to show that uh, specific uh, error message whatever it is there i'm just going to show it over here so if it is there this will happen or else if it is there it is if there is an error again it is, is going to check over here so if there is a no error again if there is a no error then definitely we have some kind of a data right so we have some kind of a data over here so at that time i'm in this case i'm just going to create this room uh, the specific uh, stuff i'm just going to map the product so once we get the success once the specific loading becomes false other time i am just going to show this is the stuff i'm just going to show it over there okay so for right now i'm just going to uh, show you if i just come back and uh, if i refresh the page over there okay here i'm getting an error by telling like uh, expected uh, token here so okay it is telling me uh, it is expecting some kind of a token over here okay what kind of a token guys so basically if it is a token if it is we are just opening here 
and it is getting closed that is fine and we are just closing everything is closed perfectly let me save this one so once i save okay you can see now it has been happening if i refresh you can see i can able to see the loader over here so i can able to see the loader but i cannot uh, still i am unable to uh, see that uh, specific over here so again i'm just going to check uh, one uh, specific scenario so here you can see in even this case also this is not working right so even this is case it is not working that means there is some error here so if i remove this uh, specific rather than this if i just uh, display something called as a product let's see what happens here if it, we are just displaying a products so if i just refresh uh, if i just refresh you can see that the loading is coming but uh, loading is getting uh, false at some scenario but still it is happening over there right so it's fine not an issue so the uh, main thing here is uh, this is what we have implemented right if i just try to show you in the inspect element tool and uh, if I just come back to our uh, scenario, so it is a Redux. Now you can see there is a nothing here. So if I just, uh, you can you can cancel it from here somewhere. If I just uh, show you, okay, I think it is locked. There was something clear function was there right now. I cannot able to see. So you can see if I just refresh it, you can see it is uh, basically getting the request and we are getting the success message. So when it is success, we are getting the loading to loading. Loading is getting false. And even you can see we are getting the entire products also. So this is working perfectly as expected. The issue here is just a binding issue. So that we will uh, fix it into the next session. And along with that, we are going to see like uh, how we can uh, do it for this specific product. So once we get a product, so how to get that specific data for a one specific product details as well. Okay, take care. Bye bye.